the Audio Awards Gala gives us a moment to reflect on our hard work and recognize the many talented people who work on these thousands of productions each year. So let's take a moment to acknowledge all the nominees attending tonight. I'll ask that tonight's fi finalists in the audience please stand and be congratulated. And now I'd like to also ask the Audie's judges to stand. So thanks to each of you and your 200 fellow judges for your dedication to listening and your discerning ears. We couldn't do this without you. So my next task is to introduce tonight's MC. You know him, you love him, <laughs> except for all those male narrators here who are mad at him since Simon Vance has more Audi nominations for single voice titles than any other male narrator on the planet. <laughs> In addition to his 14 Audi Awards, he's the critically acclaimed narrator of nearly 1,000 audiobooks and winner of 65 audiophile earphone awards. His vast list of titles includes Bring Up the Bodies by Hilary Mantel, Rod, the autobi autobiography by Rod Stewart, The King's Speech by Mark Logue and Peter Conradi, Oscar Wilde's The Picture of Dorian Gray, Patrick O'Brien's Master and Commandy series, all 21 titles, <laughs> Frank Herbert's original Dune series, Stieg Larsson's Millennium series, and Alan Moore's Magnum Opius Jerusalem. So without further ado, I give you Simon Vance. Wow. OK, it's going so far quite well. <laughs> I managed to stand up and walk across the stage. Uh, I mean, goodness me, what a difference a year makes. In fact, in this case, what a difference a few weeks makes, because up until a few weeks, I was thinking I was going to be sitting out there, <laughs> enjoying all the food and the booze provided for us by the APA in this wonderful, wonderful building. And it feels a little bit like a wedding day, you know, for me, my, like it was my wedding day. Like I can't really eat very much and I <laughs> shouldn't really drink anything. <laughs> and I get to the end of the evening, I wake up the next day and I have no idea what happened the day before. <laughs> I think it remains to be seen whether that's going to be a good idea on this occasion. I'd like, you know, we'll see what happens. I know it, it's really an honor to be asked to present the orders this evening, to host the orders. And I want to thank Linda for that lovely speech. Um, it's... It's 69 earphone awards now, but no. <laughs> I mean, who's counting? As long as I'm a couple ahead of that young upstart Scott Brick, I don't, I'm not worried. <laughs> Seriously. So what am I doing here? What am I going to do here? What am I allowed to do here? Um, when the script first dropped, the first thing I saw was the space at the top that said, Simon's opening number. <laughs> There's a little known fact, I did musicals back in the day, back in England in the 80s, when I was living in London. I didn't do them in London. I wouldn't let me near London. I did them, I think nearest I got was Wimbledon Theatre. I had this great idea for a song that I could do. It was in the musical Charlie Girl, a British musical from the 60s. And I played this young American rake in, uh, dressed in a tuxedo in front of the mirror, singing the song to myself about how wonderful I was. So, you know, typecasting. So, um, <laughs> I tried it. I tried this when I was running these speech past my wife last week, and she looked at me and went, mm. <laughs> so that idea went out the window. The other one I thought of, because that was like a Hugh Jackman, you know, Tony's sort of song and dance thing, it'd be great. And then my other thought along the same lines was Billy Crystal at the Oscars. I'll just find the best five audio books, get extracts, insert my name cleverly into the story, and then I'd narrate that to you. 
But then I thought you might have enough of me tonight because when we have the slides up, you're going to hear my voice. Before I was asked to host the orders tonight, uh, the APA asked me to record <laughs> half the announcement, only the title of the book and the author, and so half of the announcements, because I was male narrator, best male narration last year. So I just thought I'd drop that in to read. Thank you. <laughs> the other half, you'll be pleased to hear, will be done by the best female narrator of last year. <laughs> the wonderful Tavia Gilbert. So that'll be a little relief from me. Very pleased about that. So, so what was I left to do? I, and I, I spoke to Michelle on the phone, and she said, look, we don't need you to do a whole 25-minute spiel that you had in previous years, Paula Poundstone and so on. Just riff with the audience for five minutes. <laughs> and I said, riff? <laughs> I'm an audiobook narrator. <laughs> I can't riff. Riffing is not a skill encouraged in audiobook narration. <laughs> If we had the special effects, this is where the mist would clear and you'd see me in the studio. A Tale of Two Cities <laughs> by Charles Dickens, narrated by Simon Vance. Chapter one. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Well, we all know how that is, don't we? <laughs> on one moment, everything's fine, then it's all topsy-turvy, sun shining one moment, then it rains. I mean, you can be the bee's knees one day and a horse's ass the next. I mean, that's life, isn't it? It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. I don't know. How about Moby Dick? Call me Ishmael. You know his real name's Jeremy. No, seriously, he was born with that. It was the name his parents gave him. Then he was a bit of a, a, bit of a drama queen. He was about 12, and, and he heard the name Ishmael. And it was like, don't call me Jeremy. Call me Ishmael. Prima donna. I don't know if that one will work. Lolita. Light of my life, fire of my loins, my sin, my soul. Whew, she sounds pretty cool, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's just see what happens. Oh, wait, she's how old? <laughs> okay, spoiler alert. I don't think this is going to end well. <laughs> and scene. Um, <laughs> The thing is, Paula Panston gets away with a lot of stuff, and those, those, those people come into the industry, come here, they have a sort of tenuous connection, they know a little bit, but they don't know, they don't know the people in the room, they don't know the industry in detail, and, and we can laugh and enjoy the, the, the joking about and the, the sort of naivety of not knowing, you know, so you're ACX, so and, and, no, you're audible, what are you, audible and ACX? You can't be audible and ACX. So it's great fun to laugh at that, but um, <laughs> she can come into the room and poke the 800-bound gorilla and walk out again unscathed. I'm not saying audible is the 800, I'm not saying audible is an, is. In fact, from my position, there are about a dozen or more gorillas in the room. It's feeling a little bit cramped, you know. And if I, if I get so much as uh, close enough to even tickle one of the gorillas, I know what's gonna happen. It'll be like, boom. Who's that? Oh, it's just, that was Simon Vance. Can you just scrape him up, put him in a bag and leave him at the side there? So there will be no fun made of publishers in the room tonight, okay? I just want you to know that. You... <laughs> and I'm not gonna make fun of my fellow narrators. I have, I have way too much respect for you guys. Seriously. On the other hand, I did see Johnny Heller in the room earlier on. I, I was wondering if it... I'm sorry, time's up now. I've gotta get on with the business. In the immortal words of Bishop Carter at the wedding the other day, I gotta get y'all awarded. <laughs> Thank God I've now got a script. Um, a public service announcement. For those of you who are new to attending the Audis, or for anyone who has forgotten, when the winner of each Audi category is announced, Please stand so your friends, colleagues can recognize your good work with copious applause. And anyone who is not applauding copiously gets kicked out. <laughs> uh, and before we begin presenting this evening's awards, I want to take the opportunity to announce the recipients of the Excellence Audio Awards, which were presented yesterday at the Audio Publishers Association Conference. And they were as follows. Excellence in Design, recognizing outstanding product design for packaging or display art. This year's award went to Brilliance Publishing for the In-Death Limited Collector's Edition. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, not, not too copious, okay, just sort of copious enough. Um, excellence in marketing, recognizing the promotional campaign that contributed most to generating attention and bringing in new listeners. This year's award went to Penguin Random House Audio for the Transform Your Commute campaign. And finally, excellence in production, recognizing a production that represents the best the format has to offer in listening excellence. This year's award went to Audible Studios for Sherlock Holmes. Okay, this is where it really happens. I now get to introduce two very exciting and amazingly talented fellow narrators, like me from the West Coast, and I'm a huge fan of both perhaps as much for what they've accomplished outside the realm of narration. Julia Whelan is a lifelong actor, Audi Award-winning narrator, and now an author of My Oxford Year. And I've heard wonderful things about the audiobook, and she narrated it, of course. So talk about creating your own work. She has lent her voice to over 400 titles and was named Audible narrator, uh, Audible's Narrator of the Year in 2014. Our other presenter is Ramon de Ocampo, best known for his recurring roles in hit TV shows including The West Wing, 12 Monkeys, Major Crimes, and currently Counterpart, one of my favorites on cable right now. I try to get clues as to what's coming up in the upcoming season, but no joy. Um, <laughs> he's an Obie Award-winning stage actor and a 20-year veteran audiobook narrator, an Audie Award nominee tonight. He has won 11 Audiophile Earphones Awards and made the Best Voices list two years in a row. Please welcome to the stage Julia and Ramon. Hello, y'all. There you go. God, you look so pretty. Wow. Wow. All right, so the nominees for nonfiction are American Wolf, a true story of survival and obsession in the West by Nate Blakesley, narrated by Mark Bramhall. The Butterfly Effect with John Ronson by John Ronson. Narrated by John Ronson. Ghosts of the Tsunami by Richard Lloyd Perry. Narrated by Simon Vance. Shattered Inside Hillary Clinton's Doomed Campaign by Jonathan Allen and Amy Parnes. Narrated by Kimberly Farr. This fight is our fight by Elizabeth Warren. Narrated by Elizabeth Warren. And the Audi goes to... Random House Audio for American Wolf, a true story of survival and obsession in the West. The nominees, oh, I have a narrator conundrum here. Do we say the slash or not say the slash? Oh, mm. Should we Wait crowdsource that? Should you. we ask the prover? We're going with the slash. Go it might slash. mean something else. Make a choice, Ramon. Okay. <laughs> I say that that has to be consistent now for everyone. Everybody has to slash. Slashing. Okay. <laughs> the nominees for autobiography slash memoir are Al Franken, Giant of the Senate, by Al Franken, narrated by Al Franken. Born a Crime, Stories from a South African Childhood, by Trevor Noah, narrated by Trevor Noah. Born to Run, by Bruce Springsteen, narrated by Bruce Springsteen. Nevertheless, by Alec Baldwin, narrated by Alec Baldwin. <laughs> We're going to need more wine by Gabrielle Union, narrated by Gabrielle Union. What Happened by Hillary Rodham Clinton, narrated by Hillary Rodham Clinton. All right, and the Audi for autobiography slash memoir goes to Simon & Schuster Audio for Born to Run. Bruce? 
Springsteen? Oh. Amazing. Okay. That's you. Okay. All right, and the nominees for history slash biography good call. are Betty and Joan, The Divine Feud by Sean Considine, narrated by January Lavoy. Born survivors, three young mothers, and their extraordinary story of courage, defiance, and hope by Wendy Holden. Narrated by Elizabeth Wiley. Cold Girls by Liza Mundy. Narrated by Aaron Bennett. The Home Front. Life in America during World War II. An Audible Original. Narrated by Martin Sheen. Loving vs. Virginia by Patricia Ruby Powell. Narrated by by Aden Relay Oho and McLeod Andrews. My Life, My Love, My Legacy by Coretta Scott King as told to Reverend Dr. Barbara Reynolds. Narrated by Felicia Rashad and January Lavoy. And the Audi for history slash biography goes to Dreamscape Media for Loving versus Virginia. <laughs> this is the best job ever. Yeah, this is a great job. Yeah. <laughs> the nominees for inspirational slash faith-based nonfiction are Fire Road, The Napalm Girl's Journey Through the Horrors of War to Faith, Forgiveness, and Peace by Kim Fook Fang Dae. Narrated by Emily Wu Zeller. <laughs> the Mission Walker by Edie Littlefield Sunby. Narrated by Jamie Paul. Of Mess and Moxie by Jen Hatmaker. Narrated by Jen Hatmaker. The Sacrament of Happy. What a Smiling God Brings to a Wounded World by Lisa Harper. Narrated by Lisa Harper. Wake Up to the Joy of You, 52 Meditations and Practices for a Calmer, Happier Life by Agape Stasinopoulos. Narrated by Agape Stasinopoulos. We Stood Upon Stars by Roger W. Thompson. Narrated by John McLean. And the Audi. For inspirational slash faith-based nonfiction goes to Highbridge Audio, a division of recorded books for Fire Road. That was very exciting. Right, the nominees for business slash personal development are Do More Great Work by Michael Bungay Stanier, narrated by Daniel Maté. Getting There, a book of mentors by Jillian Zoe Siegel, narrated by a full cast. How to Work for an Idiot. Revised and expanded with more idiots, more insanity, and more incompetency by John Hoover. Narrated by Brian Sutherland. Peak Performance by Brad Stolberg and Steve Magnus. Narrated by Christopher Lane. Unfuck Yourself by Gary John Bishop. Narrated by by Gary John Bishop. And the Audi for Business slash Personal Development goes to Brilliance Publishing for Peak Performance. All right. Thank you. 
Pacheco. Thank you. <laughs> Tonight is, of course, a celebration of the audiobook, of the, uh, and in a large part, a celebration of the art of audiobook narration. I, and I want to emphasize that before I introduce our next two presenters. They'll be presenting categories in which a friend of mine used to appear often over the past decade. She's not here tonight. And please, I don't want to make this a moment of sadness. I had great joy, and I mean joy, in attending the memorial here in New York a few weeks ago for my colleague, Katie Kelgren, and to learn from her close family and friends that the person I found such a delight to be with and talk to was even more than that. I just want to celebrate the fact that though she can't be with us tonight, thanks to this wonderful industry and all the professionals, the casting teams, producers, engineers, directors, and of course the publishers, she will always be available to listen to and to point to as a supreme professional in this industry and as an example to all narrators as to how it should be done. So thank you, Katie, we miss you, and thank you to all of those on that side of the microphone who support us all as narrators every single day. So, coming up now, we have a pair of wonderfully talented individuals who perhaps highlight the extraordinary melding of written content and excellence in narration that are necessary to all good audiobooks. N.K. Jemison is the Hugo Award-winning author of the Broken Earth Trilogy with audiobook editions read by Robin Miles. Jemison is also a science fiction and fantasy reviewer for the New York Times. Her most recent novel is The Stone Sky, a New York Times notable book that has been nominated for the Hugo, Nebula, and Audio Awards. She lives in Brooklyn. Lorelei King is an actress who has appeared in films such as Notting Hill, House of Mirth, and, as the voice of Mother, Alien Covenant. A multi-award winning author, audiobook narrator, I mean, a multi-award winning audio, audi, or, a multi audi <laughs> award winning audiobook narrator, bingo. She is one of the first inductees into Audible's Narrator Hall of Fame. Ladies, please take the stage. Thank you, Simon, for that introduction. It was lovely. <clears throat> the nominees tonight for original work are... The Handmaid's Tale, Special Edition by Margaret Atwood and Valerie Martin, narrated by a full cast. Mother Go, by James Patrick Kelly, narrated by January Lavoy. Nevertheless, We Persisted, by 32 authors, narrated by a full cast. Rebuttal, by Jotsna Hariharan, narrated by a full cast. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet, a novel, by David Hewson, narrated by Richard Armitage. And the winner is <laughs> Audible Studios for Romeo and Juliet, a novel. Congratulations, David Houston. <laughs> okay, the nominees for Young Adult are... Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray, narrated by January Lavoy. <laughs> Disappeared by Francisco X. Stork, narrated by Roxana Ortega and Christian Barrias. The Hate You Give, by Angie Thomas, narrated by Bonnie Turpin. Solo, by Kwame Alexander, with Mary Rand Hess, narrated by Kwame Alexander. You Bring the Distant Near, by Matali Perkins, narrated by a full cast. And the Audi goes to Harper Audio for the Hate You Give. <laughs> the 
next category is Young Listeners, and the nominees are... Mother Bruce by Ryan T. Higgins, narrated by Robertson Dean. A Poem for Peter by Andrea Davis Pinckney, narrated by Cheney Waits. Princess Cora and the Crocodile by Laura Amy Schlitz, narrated by Davina Porter. A Sick Day for Amos McGee by Philip C. Stead, narrated by Jim Dale. Trombone Shorty by Troy Trombone Shorty Andrews, narrated by Dion Graham. And the audio for young listeners goes to Live Oak Media for Trombone Shorty. <laughs> The nominees for the middle grade category are... The Epic Fail of Arturo Zamora by Pablo Cartaya, narrated by Pablo Cartaya. <laughs> Patina by Jason Reynolds, narrated by Heather Alicia Sims. <laughs> Refugee by Alan Grafts, narrated by a full cast. <laughs> See You in the Cosmos by Jack Cheng, narrated by a full cast. Wedgie and Gizmo by Suzanne Selforce, narrated by Johnny Heller and Maxwell Glick. And the audio goes to Listening Library for See You in the Cosmos. Presenting our next set of categories is an accomplished pair of artists, one of whom I have become better acquainted with just this week, and she's a delight. The other, I'm going to go all fanboy over. <laughs> Even after serene swimming with sea turtles and death-defying motorbiking through the streets of Vietnam, Audi Award winner Emily Wu Zella <laughs> swears that getting dolled up and partying with an incredibly talented group of book nerds is the most special event of the year. Unlike most of her audiobook work, she will be presenting this award entirely in English. <laughs> now, as an old BBC lag myself, I have something in common with Dirk Max. That's about all I have in common with him. Um, <laughs> but still, as a BBC senior producer in the 1990s, he created cinematic, multicast productions featuring DC and Marvel Comics characters in surround sound. Since then, he's written and directed award-winning productions in collaboration with Douglas Adams, Neil Gaiman, and Terry Pratchett. And with Audible Originals, he's crafted immersive audio epics, including Alien and The X-Files. Dirk and Emily, please. Do you have... I'll just find that place in the script. I'm sure you're not unfamiliar with that process. Here we are. That's nice. All right. The nominees for humor are... The Book of Leon by Leon Black, J.B. Smoove, and Iris Barr. Narrated by Leon Black, J.B. Smoove. <laughs> Carpet Deer, or How to Save the World by Accident by Justin Lee Anderson. Narrated by Matthew Lloyd Davis. <laughs> I can't make this up. Life Lessons by Kevin Hart and Neil Strauss. Narrated by Kevin Hart. <laughs> Let and Link's Book of Mythicality, a field guide to curiosity, creativity, and tomfoolery by Rhett and Link. Narrated by Rhett McLaughlin and Link Neal. <laughs> the Totally Unscientific Study of the Search for Human Happiness by Paula Poundstone. Narrated by Paula Poundstone. And the winner is Tantor Audio, a division of recorded books for Carpet DM or How to Save the World by Accident. <laughs> the 
The nominees for inspirational slash faith-based fiction are Captain Bailey's Heir by G.A. Henty, narrated by a full cast. Catching the Wind by Melanie Dobson, narrated by Nancy Peterson. The Ebb Tide by Beverly Lewis, narrated by Christina Moore with Stephanie Cozart. Sandpiper Cove by Irene Hannon, narrated by Therese Plummer. The Trials of St. Patrick by Paul McCusker, narrated by a full cast. And the winner is Two Words Publishing for Catching the Wind. The nominees for literary fiction and classics are Beast by Paul Kingsnorth, narrated by Simon Vance. Daisy Miller by Henry James, narrated by Kitty Hendricks. Dracula by narrated by Nick Sands. The Handmaid's Tale, special edition by Margaret Atwood and Valerie Martin, narrated by a full cast. House of Names by Colum Tobin, narrated by a full cast. Phineas Finn by Anthony Trollope, narrated by David Shaw Parker. And the audio goes to Simon and Schuster Audio for House of Names. The nominees for short stories are... Difficult Women by Roxanne Gay, narrated by Robin Miles. Good Behavior by Blake Crouch, Narrated by Blake Crouch and Julia Whalen. The Language of Thorns, Midnight Tales and Dangerous Magic by Lee Bardugo. Narrated by Lauren Fortgang. Tales of Ordinary Madness by Charles Bukowski. Narrated by Will Patton. You Don't Have to Say You Love Me by Sherman Alexi, narrated by Sherman Alexi. And the Audi goes to Audible Studios for The Language of Thorns, Midnight Tales, and Dangerous Magic. when the publisher is Simon and Schuster and they announce it, I'm going, oh, oh no, hang on, it's not. <laughs> so look, the fix is not in here tonight, just because I'm up here, I don't have any say in what's going on. Um, I'm going to introduce, introduce two more narrators now from the West Coast, racking up the air miles, way to go, guys. Bonnie Turpin holds multiple Audi Awards, and she's a winner tonight. So among past Audi Awards has been the 2015 Audi for Best Female Solo Narration. She was named Audible's 2016 Narrator of the Year. Can I be like an editor and correct you on the next set? So. Oh, did it get out of order? It got out of order. We got you. We got you. So I'm going to have to sit over there and write a new joke to open the next little thing. So, as I was saying, we celebrate so much amazing talent <laughs> at the Audis that we're pleased to have two authors join us to announce the next set of categories. 
Mackenzie Lee is the author of the best-selling and award-winning adventure novel, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. Its sequel, The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy, and other books you should buy in bulk. <laughs> Pablo Cartaya is the author slash narrator of The Epic Fail of Arturo Zamora, which is a finalist tonight in the middle grade category. Pablo has acted on stage and television, notably co-starring in NBC's Will and Grace, currently serves as faculty at Sierra Nevada College's MFA in writing, and frequently gives talks around the country on writing, reading, and multilingualism. A warm welcome for Mackenzie and Pablo. This is so cool. This is as close as we're ever going to get to the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> they told us not to talk a lot, so I'll shut up. The nominees for fiction are... An Almond for a Parrot by Ray Delaney, narrated by Rachel Atkins. Bear Town by Frederick Bachman, narrated by Marin Ireland. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. Narrated by Kathleen McCarran. I Liked My Life by Abby Fabiashi. Narrated by a full cast. The Life and Times of Persimmon Wilson. A novel by Nancy Peacock. Narrated by J.D. Jackson. The Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane by Lisa C. Narrated by a full cast. And the audio goes to Penguin Audio for Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Thank you. Oh, it's like, where are you going? We're, we're, we're switching. We rehearsed this. Okay. I knew I was going to mess it up. And the nominees for romance are... Any Day Now by Robin Carr. Narrated by Therese Plummer. Cake, a love story by Jay Bengtson. Narrated by Andy Arndt and Joe Arden. Come Sundown by Nora Roberts. Narrated by Elizabeth Rogers. The Duchess Deal by Tessa Dare. Narrated by Mary Jane Wells. The Ladies' Room by Carolyn Brown, narrated by Donna Postel. And the audio goes to Harper Audio for the Dutch of Steel. Are we, are we switching again? Or? No, stay where you are. M Mackenzie's not letting me switch again. So. Of course, leave it to authors to screw this all up. The nominees for thriller and suspense. It says it, what? It says it, God, you tough crowd. Fine, it says and, but I'll say slash, suspense. The nominees for thriller slash suspense are. The Breakdown by B.A. Paris. Narrated by Georgia Maguire. The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. Narrated by Ellen Archer. Don't Let Go by Harlan Coburn. Narrated by Stephen Weather. The Fourth Monkey by J.D. Barker. Narrated by Eduardo Ballerini and Graham Winton. A Legacy of Spies by John Le Carre. Narrated by Tom Hollander. Mississippi Blood by Greg Isles, narrated by Scott Brick. The audio goes to Recorded Books for the Fourth Monkey. And the nominees for Paranormal are... Curse of the Lamb. Soulwood Book Two by Faith Hunter. Narrated by Christine Havan. Eleventh Grave in Moonlight by Dorinda Jones. Narrated by Lorelei King. 
Finding My Pack by Lane Witt. Narrated by Cooper North and Aletha George. Knights of the Living Dead, an anthology. Edited by Jonathan Maybury and George A. Romero. Narrated by a full cast. Silver Silence by Nalini Singh. Narrated by Angela Dorr. And the Audi goes to Audible Studios for Curse on the Land, Soulwood, book two. So I said I wanted to do something like they did in the Oscars, and I just did it in the last introduction. Um, and I got nothing, so two more narrators in for the West. Well done, guys. Bonnie Turpin holds multiple Audi Awards and is a winner tonight. And uh, one of her past awards was the 2015 Audi for Best Female Solo Nar Narration. She was named Audible's 2016 Narrator of the Year and Booklist's Voice of Choice in 2017. She is the narrator of this year's Odyssey Award winner, The Hate You Give. And earlier this month, Bonnie was inducted into the Audible Narrator Hall of Fame. Jorge Reyes is an audio engineer, audiobook producer, and magici ma magician. Magician? and musician. It's a downhill from here. Eleven years ago, he took a job as an audiobook editor to improve his English. The rest, as they say, is history. He'll always be grateful to his mentor, the late Bob Diane, and also... <laughs> also, he likes to take silly pictures with his son and thinks chocolate is overrated. Jorge, you are dead to me. <laughs> Bonnie and Jorge, come on. <laughs> I got introduced twice. <laughs> All right, and the nominees for science fiction are. Battlefront 2, Inferno Squad, Star Wars, by Christy Golden. Narrated by Janina Gavanka. <laughs> New York 2140, by Kim Stanley Robinson. Narrated by a full cast. Providence, by Anne Leckie. Narrated by Adjoa Ando. The Stone Sky, by N.K. Jemison. Narrated by Robin Miles. The X-Files. Cold Cases, by Joe Harris, Chris Carter, and Dirk Maggs. Narrated by a full cast. And the audio goes to Hachette Audio for Provenance. The nominees for Erotica are... Claim and Protect by Renna Morgan, narrated by John Lane. His Alone by Alexa Riley, narrated by Summer Morton and Jay Crow. More Than Want You by Shayla Black, narrated by Christian Fox. One Night of Sin by L. Kennedy, Narrated by Joe Arden. Taking Turns, The Turning Series, Book One, by J.A. Huss. Narrated by a full cast. And the winner is Harlequin Audio for Claim and Protect. the nominees for fantasy are the nominees for <laughs> check check one two one two once upon a time no <laughs> hmm. yes yeah, somebody well 
Well, let me tell I you. I don't have the program, so I can't read them off of the program. <laughs> Yes. You don't want that. <laughs> uh, the nominees for Fantasy are Red Sister by Mark Lawrence, narrated by Heather O'Neill. The Refrigerator Monologues by Catherine M. Valente, narrated by Karis A. Campbell. Skull Sworn by Brian Staveley, narrated by Elizabeth Nolden. <laughs> Snake Eyes by John Conroe, narrated by James Patrick Crannan. <laughs> and Spellmonger, the Spellmonger series book one by Terry Mancour, narrated by John Lee. Also, one more. The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodora Goss, narrated by Kate Redding. And the audio goes to Simon & Schuster Audio for The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. participation there that was all planned <laughs> do we have the video for the next grouping ready thank you <laughs> so our last pairing are no strangers to each other as they work together on one of our Audi nominees tonight I'd be very surprised if their bios didn't mention it I think that's a way of building tension <laughs> Tanya Eby has performed over 600 audiobooks and received an Audi in 2017 she's the owner of Blunder Woman Productions. Her production of Nevertheless We Persisted is nominated for an Audi this year. Deepti Gupta is an actress whose work has been seen worldwide, including India, Singapore, Pakistan, and the United States. She switches between the big and small screens with ease and grace. In the audiobook world, she is best known for the books The Golden Legend and Nevertheless We Persisted, which is her first Audi nomination. So, while Deepti finds her way up here with Grace, Tanya, in keeping with the name of her company, will <laughs> step very carefully. Yes. The nominees for mystery are... The Girl Who Takes an Eye for an Eye by David Lagerkrantz, narrated by Simon Vance. Glass Houses by Louise Penny, narrated by Robert Bathurst. Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz, narrated by Samantha Bond. On Her Majesty's Frightfully Secret Service, a Royal Spinous Mystery by Reese Bowen, narrated by Catherine Kelgren. <laughs> Telling Tales by Anne Cleves, narrated by Julia Franklin. And the Audi goes to Random House Audio for the girl who takes an eye for an eye. The nominees for multi-voice performance are... Actually, sorry. The nominees for audio Brother drama Francis, are... Brother Francis, The Barefoot Saint of Assisi, by Paul McCusker, performed by a full cast. Cicero, by David Llewellyn, performed by Samuel Barnett and George Naylor. The Mean, by John Arthur Long, 
performed by John Arthur Long. <laughs> Treasure Island, an audible original drama by Robert Louis Stevenson and Marty Ross, performed by a full cast. <laughs> the Tug of War by David Rambo, performed by a full cast. And the Audi goes to Augustine Institute for Brother Francis, the barefoot saint of Atizi. The nominees for multi-voiced performance are... Lincoln in the Bardo by George Saunders, narrated by a full cast. Restart by Gordon Corman. Narrated by a full cast. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Narrated by a full cast. The Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane by Lisa C. Narrated by a full cast. The X-Files Cold Cases by Joe Harris, Chris Carter and Dirk Maggs. Narrated by a full cast. And the Audi goes to recorded books for restart. The nominees for narration by the author are Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Narrated by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Born a Crime, Stories from a South African Childhood by Trevor Noah. Narrated by Trevor Noah. <laughs> Nikki Giovanni, Love Poems and a Good Cry by Nikki Giovanni. Narrated by Nikki Giovanni. Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. Narrated by Neil Gaiman. This Fight is Our Fight by Elizabeth Warren. Narrated by Elizabeth Warren. And the Audi goes to Harper Audio for Norse mythology. Okay, now the portion of the evening where we invite the winners to the stage to collect their award. The wonderful Vanna White here <laughs> will hope to make it across the stage, doing a great job, Ooh. without tripping, to hand you your award. And if your speech goes on too long, the audience will join me in humming the theme to Jeopardy as a hint that we all want another drink. All kidding aside, we have an illuminating list of talent to celebrate in our final categories. And let me just warn you, uh, the top step does not have a white line on it. So when you step off the stage, like I did before the show began tonight, you might end up falling a cropper on there, so just pay attention. The nominees for Best Male Narrator are... Born a Crime, Stories from a South African Childhood by Trevor Noah. Narrated by Trevor Noah. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Narrated by Christian Coulson. Glass Houses by Louise Penny. Narrated by Robert Bathurst. Murder on the Orient Express, movie tie-in, by Agatha Christie, narrated by Kenneth Branagh. Sherlock Holmes, by Arthur Conan Doyle and Stephen Fry, narrated by Stephen Fry. And the order goes to Trevor Noah for Born a Crime Stories from a South African Childhood. so much. Uh, Trevor Noah couldn't be here. He had a previous engagement. He really did want to come, um, but he sends his thanks on, on our behalf, and thank you so much. And now in the Best Female Narrator category, the nominees for Best Female Narrator are... 
The Alice Network by Kate Quinn. Narrated by Saskia Marleveld. <laughs> Anne of Green Gables by Lucy Maud Montgomery. Narrated by Rachel McAdams. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Narrated by Bonnie Turpin. The Secret Diary of Laura Palmer, Twin Peaks, by Jennifer Lynch. Narrated by Cheryl Lee. The Stone Sky, by N.K. Jemison. Narrated by Robin Miles. And the Audi for Best Female Narrator goes to Bonnie Turpin for The Hate You Give. Thank you so much. You're too good to me. Don't stop. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm very honored to have been chosen to narrate this book. I feel like it was a very important book for our time. Um, yeah. Um, if, for those of you who, who don't know the book, it is about, it, it's a young woman's um, tale of her experience with um, systemic racism and losing a dear friend to police brutality and what can happen and the way she weathers that storm. So thank you very much and uh, I'm, I'm very honored. And we have reached the end of the evening with our final award, Audiobook of the Year, honoring the title which meets the highest standards in production, and also through marketing and sales can be said to have had a significant impact on the audiobook industry. The nominees for Audiobook of the Year are... Born a Crime, Stories from a South African Childhood by Trevor Noah. Narrated by Trevor Noah. Columbus Day, Expeditionary Force, Book One, by Craig Allenson. Narrated by R.C. Bray. The Handmaid's Tale, Special Edition, by Margaret Atwood and Valerie Martin. Narrated by a full cast. Lincoln in the Bardo, by George Saunders. Narrated by a full cast. The Totally Unscientific Study of the Search for Human Happiness by Paula Poundstone. Narrated by Paula Poundstone. And the audio for Audiobook of the Year goes to Random House Audio for Lincoln in the Bardo! <laughs> Overwhelmed, my heart is racing. Um, congratulations to everyone. Could everyone who had a role in this please come share the stage with us? If you're up there, if you're down here, there were 100. One, keep moving in, everybody, or we're never going to have room. There were 166 narrators on this program. <laughs> so, I'm going to I'm going to hand this over to Kelly. Come on, keep coming up everybody. 166 of you. Before before I hand this over to Kelly while everyone's coming down to join us, I have one person to thank and that is George Saunders for giving us this most amazing story to record. Um, I want to thank the APA so much for this honor. Um, 
I want to thank my Penguin Random House family for not only supporting this project, but like being wildly enthusiastic about it. And for many of you reading on it, I want to thank Nick Offerman, David Sedaris, George Saunders, Kirby Hayborn, and Cassandra Campbell, who are like the heartbeat of this amazing narrator team, many of who are here tonight. Um, Ted Scott and Heather Scott, who did all of the post-production, and I just, I can't even begin. <laughs> magical um, to Jeff Tweedy for an original song that is beautiful and um, finally to George Saunders who <laughs> has such a big heart and such a big brain I <laughs> I love him so much and I wish he was here because he'd have something way better to say than me um, but I just I'm so happy that he's writing books because you know him being in the world and writing about the world makes it a better place. Thank you so much. While half the audience is sitting down, Linda will say the final words. <laughs> Clearing the stage of 175 people is not always easy. Linda, please. That was exciting. <laughs> so thanks to all of you for coming tonight. I hope you had fun. So representatives from winning publishers could come forward and get their audio award after and head to the step and repeat for photos as soon as we're done. <laughs> uh, so please enjoy dessert and a champagne toast up on the second floor and we encourage you to take home a centerpiece of books and audiobooks from the tables. <laughs> but before you go, I'd like to thank again all those who worked so hard on making tonight a success. Especially, I'd like to thank Audie's Gala Chair, Melanie Donovan, for the fantastic job that you've done for tonight's festivities. Melanie? Uh, and of course, Suzanne Elise Freeman and PJ Auckland for, kicked off tonight's event with the live from the Red Carpet Show. And as always, Emil, Dave, and his team for their amazing work with both the video presentation and the live stream. Tavia Gilbert, whose voice helped carry us through the evening of nominees being masterfully narrated. And of course, an extra special thanks for Simon Vance for both the work on the video narration and his delightful work as a host tonight. So see you upstairs for champagne. Thanks, everyone.